Right now, a demonstration in Pueblo this evening. Let's check in with our Katie Blaze. Well, everyone is pretty much cleared out by now, Rob, but earlier tonight, hundreds of people looked like even thousands at one point showed up here for a peaceful march and protest at the Riverwalk in honor of George Floyd and other victims of police brutality. Public chief of police even showed up to lend his support. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The same words spoken by George Floyd just a week ago. Now cried out by a crowd of people in Pueblo. Jacob Topping, just one of many people who attended Monday night's protest. I was horrified. I was horrified, but I wasn't surprised, which is sad to say. We just really want all police departments to pay attention to this movement because it is a broad problem that is prevalent in all police departments. For Veronica Jaramillo. Just trying to get justice for everyone. We need peace. We can't be doing this anymore. Heidi Larson came from Colorado City with her family to attend the protest. We're here to acknowledge that it's our time to listen and learn and advocate for change. We need to fight for everyone to have the same opportunities that we have. Pueblo Police Chief Troy Davenport making a brief address to the crowd. I hesitate to call them officers. Real officers don't do that. Pueblo's my hometown. I am proud of Pueblo and I'm proud of you for coming out. No justice, no peace. Now there was some graffiti on the outside of the police station, but for the most part, it was a peaceful protest. I did ask a few of the people who were here tonight if there are any other events planned for this week. As of right now, we're not aware of anything. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Katie Blaze, News 5. Katie, thank you. And Rob, too.